Right. It's a it's a platform which is built so it doesn't vibrate inside. And then at the top of there, there's a little launcher that launches a laser. I'm Dale Ingram. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator here at LIGO Hanford Observatory. We're a gravitational wave observatory. Observatory. We're running this huge instrument here, and then one just like it in the state of Louisiana, to measure gravitational waves that we think are coming from outer space. Well, the instrument uses laser light, so uh, we have a very high performance laser that produces light that gets split into two beams that then travel out at a 90 degree angle. So we have two two and a half mile long beam paths where those two laser beams travel uh, down to the ends of what we call the arms of the detector and then reflect off mirrors and then come back. And when the beams come back to the point where they got split, they recombine and they make uh, a pattern uh, of light called an interference pattern. And that's what we measure. We measure that pattern that's formed by the two returning beams because if that pattern vibrates, that means that the mirrors in the detector are vibrating and that might be because gravitational waves are going by. And LIGO operates our two detectors uh, between 2002 and 2010. And since 2010, we've been upgrading the instruments, uh, doing a full program of upgrades to uh, ultimately make them 10 times more sensitive to gravitational waves than they used to be. And we finished all that installation work now after four years of, of putting in new equipment. Now our teams are tuning up the new equipment, getting it ready to run, and we hope to launch a data run this fall that would be our first run with our advanced detectors.